Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should hit subscribe before you go any further and realise how fucking garbage this content is. If, on the other hand, this is not your first time on the channel, well, welcome back. You may want to get your head checked. But in either case, thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate you being here. I really enjoy it seeing you guys on the channel with me. Today's video, we're going to be taking the challenge of playing three copies of the brand new structure deck, Freezing Chains, and making the best possible deck that we can out of it. That's right, just three copies of the structure deck, no other cards. This is just to give an idea for those of you who are looking to pick up the structure deck and go out and play it as is. As always with these structure decks, I'd absolutely recommend picking up three copies. There's some great staples in there, and if you're going to go ahead and play the Ice Barrier deck, you might as well play it with maximum opportunity to play. And by picking up three copies, of course, you max out on your resources. Now, as a quick note, if you are looking to pick up any Yu-Gi-Oh! singles, including ones from the deck, you can go ahead and check out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. There is a link in the description which will get you a cheeky discount courtesy of yours truly. Go ahead and visit their eBay store and you can get yourself some Yu-Gi-Oh! singles and Pokemon singles at a nice discount. Another option you have if you're wondering how you could possibly get your hands on three copies of the deck is through me. That's right, I was fortunate enough to get some product from Konami and I've done a video previously about this in a giveaway. I'll put a link on the screen for you guys to go ahead and check it out if you want to get yourself a chance to pick up the deck. That giveaway is open to people in North America, so that is the United States of America, Canada. It's also open to Europe and the UK. And apologies if you do fall outside of those regions. We've got some limitations on the old funds. But anyway, that's enough waffling on from me. Let's see what I would do if I had three copies of this deck to take to locals. So let me first apologise about if there's a wearing sound in the background. My laptop fans are really fucking loud. And as a result, they sometimes get picked up on here. Usually I can edit it out, but apologies if I can't. Also, apologies if you hear any crazy snoring sounds in the background. My pug is extra needy today. Won't leave me the fuck alone. And as such, is sat just outside the door where he snores loudly enough to sometimes get caught up on this microphone. But I digress. Let's get stuck into the profile. So normally I try and do a physical one of these for you. However, of course, I'm keeping those sealed copies of the deck uh, intact so that I can give those away for you. And again, if you haven't entered that, there's a really good opportunity for you to do so. Go ahead and check out that video for more information. So we start off with double copies of General Wayne of the Ice Barrier. Ideally, you probably want to see this in your opening hand. The problem here is that it can get a little bit cloggy if you have too many, so I think the two works out quite nicely. Revealer of the Ice Barrier is one of the new cards printed in the structure deck. This is a really, really cool option, and definitely one that you want to see three of. This is that card that you want to see as quickly as possible. Get it onto the field, and of course, special summon your tuner from your deck, and go into your synchro plays from there. So three copies of this for me, absolutely mandatory. We've got triple copies of Speaker for the Ice Barriers. The fact that this is a free extender uh, gets a free special summon, of course. And the fact that you can also generate tokens off it is a really nice option, of course, for your Synchro plays and all of that good stuff. We've got a single copy of Strategist. It is very much one-dimensional in what it does, in that it allows you to basically dig a little bit deeper into the deck. As such, it doesn't really warrant much more place in the deck, so just one of, just for the name alone, is pretty good. We've got one of our tuner targets here, Defender of the Ice Barrier. The effect is largely irrelevant, it's just the fact that you can get to special summon it out the deck nice and easily, and the fact that it's a really good level for tutoring and changing the levels of one of our cards that we're going to see a little bit later on. We have a single copy of Prior of the Ice Barrier. I kind of want to run more of these, but it gets a little bit annoying, a little bit cloggy. The fact that it has that restriction is kind of dumb as well. Honestly, I think one of is just perfectly fine in this deck. Cryomancer, again, is just another good target as a tuner, but honestly, that's about where it ends. The fact that it's a level 2 does have its benefits, but the effect is largely irrelevant. The annoyingly named Zuijin, we've gone ahead and included one copy, not to be confused with Zuijin or any of those other cards that have very similar names. This obviously can easily unclog your hand, which is something of a benefit, but also the fact that it can do level modulation is nice and cool, and of course, then it will summon itself as well. I think just the one copy is perfectly fine for the utility, but it pretty much again just ends there. We've got triple copies of Hexa Spirit of the Ice Barrier. I think this is definitely one of the cooler cards in the deck. The fact that it's a tuner, the fact that it can modulate its levels is a really cool option to include. And as such, I think the three is perfect in here. Also, the fact that it reduces the opponent's monster's attack and defense can be of a benefit. Not much of one, but it does help. We then move on to triple copies of Gen X Undyne. Gen X Undyne and Gen X Controller are really, really strong in this deck and definitely something that you need to include, especially if you're going to play just triple copies of the structure deck on its own. 
The fact that this can dump cards of graveyard benefits directly into the grave to search controller is really nice, and together of course they make a level 6 synchro, which means you can go into Brio nice and easily. And we've got two copies of Aqua Spirit here, I think two is perfectly fine. Again, you've got a third if you just want an extra extender, but the synergy here isn't quite as good as normal. Of course, the fact that we don't have additional extra net monsters other than synchros means it's relatively limited in what it does for you. However, if you were going to expand beyond the structure decks, you could definitely look at including more copies of this card. We have triple copies of Medallion because, you know, searching Ice Barrier monsters for free is nice. Especially when it's not once per turn. We've got triple copies of wins over the Ice Barrier. Special summoning from the deck is Neato. Especially when you can set up a nice synchro play off it, which is pretty awesome. It can also help you regenerate and recycle cards, which is a really nice option as well. We've got a Monster Reborn plus protection for your monsters, which is pretty nice. You can only activate it once per turn, so if it does get popped or anything like that, there's not much you can do about it. And as such, we're just running the two copies, especially because it could be a little bit cloggy. Honestly, two is perfect. We're running double copies of Salvage in here, of course, because regenerating resources is always a really nice option, and pretty much the fact that it's not once per turn is pretty cool as well. We've got triple copies of Crackdown in here. Crackdown's a really good way to interrupt your opponent, and of course set yourself up to allow you to ease your go into those synchro plays as and when you need to. Double copies of Fiendish Chain. This is something that you could up to three again if you wanted to include it. I just wanted to keep it down to the 40 card mark. Just a generic negation is a really nice option. We've got double copies of Heavy Storm Duster here. This is just for back row removal. This is just for back row removal. The current format has a lot of back row options, so this is something that you want to have available to you. And a single copy of Pulsar Trishula. With this particular build, we're not likely to be churning out a ton of Synchro Monsters. We're going to be ending on one or two, so the benefits of this are going to be limited, but banishing a card your opponent controls is always a nice option in and of itself. There's also the fact that it gives you a protection as well, which is really cool. As a quick note, I would definitely consider playing triple copies of a Pointer of the Red Lotus. I didn't include it in this particular build, however, it's definitely something you should consider. The card is incredibly strong, so definitely an option for you. And then we move on to the extra deck. We've basically just maxed out on absolutely everything we can. There's not much else to say about it. Obviously, the new Trishula is really cool. The OG Trishula is just absolutely broken. Uh, Gungnir, we don't really care that much about. Brio is just awesome. And of course, Deloren is still at one. And that is all for today's video. Thank you very much for coming along, guys. I do really appreciate you being here with me. And the fact that you made it this far into the video gives me hope that you've hit subscribe, whether it's because you couldn't possibly look away because of how bad it was, or maybe you're a gluten for punishment and really enjoy bad content. In either of those scenarios, I appreciate it either way. It's worth noting that this isn't the only kind of content we do on the channel. We do do deck profiles. Of course, we do combo tutorials. We do how to play videos. We do locals vlogs when they're allowed. And events when they're back on, we'll have vlogs too. And I'm always open to some ideas, so if there is something you'd like to see on the channel, definitely let me know on social media. I'm easy enough to find out there, whether it's on this channel, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can find links in the description to all of my social media channels. I also take the time to read as many of the comments as I possibly can, so believe me, I see what you type. Of course, again, a polite reminder that if you are looking to try and get your hands on this deck for absolutely free, you can do so by entering the giveaway that is on the channel already. A link has been on the screen, and I'll put a link in the description as well for those of you who'd like to go check it out now. But anyway, that's enough nonsense from me. Go about your day, and I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.